All right, welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you how I pull a, a really fast vacuum using um, my old CPS 8 CFM uh, vacuum and my Appian half inch mega flow hoses. I'm basically going to do uh, no cuts, no speed up of the uh, footage. It's just going to be a raw straight through um, at the vacuum part. I'm going to have cuts in the video, but once I get to the part where I'm pulling vacuum, it's just going to be straight through raw footage. So that way you can see how fast it actually pulls down. Uh, just what kind of vacuum is actually capable when you remove your valve cores and use bigger hoses. So uh, stay tuned for the results and uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and change my pump oil here. It's been a good while. All I gotta do, take the top off. Get you a jug. All right, it's actually pretty clear and I haven't changed this stuff in, shoot. Probably have been at least four or five months. Might have done eight to ten jobs. A lot clearer than I thought it would have been. Not bad. What you want to do? Get your cap back in and add your oil. I like to use the max. Oops, I you want to. All right, that's perfect. So, what I want to do, I'm going to use my bigger hoses today. So what I'm going to do is grab both of my three or four removers. So grab one on this side. And you got one on the liquid side here. Always make sure you can open and close the valves. See that one's not going to open and close. So you want to have that one. Here we go. <clears throat> Grab our external vacuum gauge, CPS. And pop this onto the T here. I know a lot of guys like to put another another trigger core remover to protect the vacuum gauge, but I mean the trigger core remover is like 70 bucks, so it's not really worth it for. And this vacuum is designed to take high pressure as well as low pressure. I mean, I think it's rated at like 300 psi or something. So it's not really hurting anything to have this in the circuit. Alrighty. Cool. So I've got my thick Appian Mega Flow hose here. Let's uh, put this on this side here. Not really sure about this hose to be honest with you. O-rings don't really sit too well, seat too well on it, so we're going to try it again. I've tried it before and the thing was not pulling down. I'm going to try it again and see what happens. Try it a little bit tighter this time actually. Then we're going to try our big boy. Happy on who's here. Put that here, one on this side, one on that side. We're gonna see how fast this pulls down. Like I said, I usually pull vacuum in about 15, maybe 20 minutes using my manifolds. I can pull down to about 600 microns, 650 microns in 20 minutes. That's not terrible. It's actually pretty decent. But, um, We're going to see. I haven't used one. I haven't used this setup in a while. But you see what I mean now when I say it's just quicker to use the 
manifolds. I mean, when you already got the nitrogen set up on them, this, I mean, this rig is pretty, pretty uh, convoluted. Alright, turn your back gauge on. Just we'll hope and pray we have that battery on. Batteries. What's that signal? See what I mean? Trust me, it's just better to use your, uh, your manifolds. If you got digital manifolds, you're just going to be better off. This is a cool setup, cool rig. Don't get me wrong, but we'll see how cool this other hose is. Like I said, I've tried it before and it wouldn't pull down. So we want to put in microns. Tour micron, here we go. As you can see, I passed on my leak tech, 625 seconds. Start pressure, well my end pressure is 210.8. Alright, let's do it. Talk about inconvenience. Pulling out a lot of moisture. That breaker. Less than 55 seconds. As I assume, struggling, and I think if we do it this hose here, what I'm going to try to do is, um, I'm going to cut this hose off. See, this hose is garbage. Now it's really cutting down. I don't know what it is about this hose. Let's try it again without this hose. Let's try it again without this hose here. Much faster without that hose. See there? Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do. So far it's been about a minute. 